I'm Kent Mayor Dana Ralph, and I want to say thank you for joining us this week for our weekly update. I want to share with you a couple of great events that have happened here at the city this last week. The first one um, involves our art students from Kent Meridian High School and uh, a local downtown church, the First Church of Christ Scientists. So it starts out as a sad story. The windows in the church were vandalized. and. As everyone knows, with supply chain, that kind of thing, they got a really long lead time, like potentially fall, before the replacement windows would be there. So they had to board those windows up. Well, the congregation came up with a brilliant idea and they reached out to Ms. Sandy, who is an art teacher up at Camp Meridian High School, and worked with her to see if the students in that class would be willing to create art to go on the plywood where those broken windows were. Basically taking a a sad and, and frustrating situation and turning it into something beautiful. Well, a large group of students in her class came together, were excited about the project, and they painted individual pieces that are now hanging on the sides of the building there at the church over on State Street here in downtown. Had a chance to go over yesterday and thank and honor the students that participated, thank the, the church and the congregation for the brilliant idea of bringing these things together. And we have now a fabulous art installation right here in, in downtown, and it really really to me talks it's it's the whole thing we are Kent right we're taking something that's that's negative turning it into a positive and really coming together as a community and supporting each other so if you get a chance to drive by the church some fabulous artwork done by our art students up at KM want to say thank you to the students as well as the church for making that happen the second event that we had this week was the dedication of the flagpole and flag raising over at 4th and Willis at the roundabout there. David Malik and his family, longtime residents and business owners here in Kent, donated that flagpole for all of our residents and visitors coming in. Congressman Adam Smith uh, donated a flag that has been flown over the Capitol in Washington, D.C., and Council Member, King County Council Member Pete Von Reichbauer was the facilitator and brought everyone together. We had a wonderful ceremony this last week. We had Korean War veterans. The 27th was Korean Armistice Day, and so in honor of that, we had members of our, v our local VFW post, about a 90-year-old veteran from the Korean War out, as well as Blue Thunder kicking us off with a celebration celebration it was a really nice morning in raising that flag and we just had a chance to reflect on what the American flag means to our community. So it's the flag that our veterans fought and, and died for and it's the flag that represents a symbol to all of the immigrants and refugees coming here to the United States and specifically to Kent about the potential of finding the American dream here. Uh, the fact that there can be so many things found in our flag um, and it brings about so many positive emotions, just it made that day very, very special. Um, the fact that a first generation immigrant family was the one that donated that flag, um, I think really talks about the hope that is the American dream and uh, really proud to bring everybody together for that event. And as you drive through the 4th and Willis roundabout, take a look at that flag and think about the stories that, that you may have um, surrounding our flag. On to upcoming events. Kent 101 is back in person. So Kent 101 is our civics class for the city of Kent. If you've ever wondered how are budgets made? What does it mean to have a public works department? What kind of work do they do? How do potholes get filled? How do we decide where to locate a park and what kind of amenities go in it? Or then the back end things like finance, human resources, IT. What does it take to run an IT division in a city the size of Kent? Well. Kent 101 is your, is your place, it's your class, um, starting September 15th, running through November 3rd. Classes are held from 6 to 8.30 p.m. once a week here in City Hall. And the basic format is you will get a chance to interact with uh, members of each one of our departments here at the City of Kent, with the directors of those departments, ask questions and learn. Really, we want to be able to provide people with an opportunity to have their questions answered, but then also be ambassadors for the City of Kent. So when, when you are out and about and in your community circles and somebody says something, you can say, you know what? 
I learned in Kent 101 and, and be able to share that information. So we're excited to be back in person. Uh, strongly encourage you or family members or friends to sign up and you can do that on our website at kentwa.gov slash kent101. And I hope to see you on September 15th. Final thing coming up, just wanna remind you that this coming Tuesday is National Night Out in the city of Kent. We've got over 50 neighborhoods, organizations uh, signed up that are gonna be holding events, potlucks, barbecues, ice cream socials. It's just a great chance to get out, meet your neighbors, talk to each other. The city will be having visitors coming from all of our different departments, stopping by those events, um, opportunity to ask questions. But really the goal is getting to know the people that you live around. Um, it's a safety thing. Thing, so then you know who's in your neighborhood, who's not, and just feeling like you are a part of, of a neighborhood of a community. So if you've got an event happening in your neighborhood, I strongly encourage you to, um, to attend and get to know your neighbors. So we'll see you on National Night Out. All right, just want to wrap up with uh, we are hiring. City of Kent has many positions that are currently open. Everything from our summer jobs, uh, working with our working with kids at, in parks, refereeing and umpiring for sports teams, to our operations folks, both on the park side and public work side, all the way up through career positions for things like engineers and planners. You can always check out our website at jobs.kentwa.gov to see the positions that we have open. One of the things I'm really proud about with the city of Kent is we have a lot of employees that started out as temporary employees, uh, summer hires, that kind of thing, and have turned this into their career, the work that they've done. So uh, come home during the summer for college, come back and then apply what they've learned or just work their way up through. It's, there's a lot of amazing job paths here at the city and we'd love to have you join our team. So with that, a um, lot of things going on in the city of Kent. Hope you're finding some ways to stay cool, getting out and checking out some of the summer concerts or parks, that kind of stuff. Have a wonderful weekend and remember, we are Kent.